I'm not much of a book lover because they've never really interested me all that much. All I really love is dogs because they are just so cute and fluffy. They truly are man's best friend. Well, my mother and father want me to start reading, so they tried to find me a book on dogs. Makes sense, doesn't it? The thing is, though, there aren't many bookshops in town or anywhere near, and my parents are fervent technophobes. I would never be able to convince them to buy me some stuff on the web about it. However, as it turned out, the local library was closing down, but it was expected as it was creepy and condemned, but they were giving books away for free. One book in particular caught my parents' eyes, a brightly colored book called Dogs, Do's, and Don'ts. It looked in pristine condition, despite being printed in 1985. My parents brought it home and gave it to me. I was a little apprehensive at first, but it was only 100 pages, so I eagerly accepted. It was pretty simple, really. The first 50 pages are do's, and the last 50 pages are don'ts. On the first day, I got to page 30, and it was great. There were a few paragraphs of text on each page, including a step-by-step -step guide and some helpful tips. Also, there were some really detailed illustrations, and a smiling man demonstrating what to do on each page in a photo. Some of the things in here were really useful. Perfect foods, games to play, and tricks to teach dogs. Eventually, I got to page 49, but then got tired, so I went to sleep. The next morning, I got up and picked up the book. I was desperate to read the don'ts section, but throughout the day, things just kept popping back up, so I waited until it was night. I laid in my bed and opened the book. However, I wish I hadn't. The book had the same smiling man and the same illustrations, but what they were depicting was truly vile. One was the dog being pulled inside out through its anus. Another was the smiling man fucking the dog. And another was the man boiling the dog with the same sick smile. I felt like I was going to be sick, but at the same time, I felt compelled to read every last page. As I went along, it got worse. The smiling man was pulling a dog's eyes out and eating parts of it, still smiling. Skinning was depicted as well. Not only that, there were tortures that only the most insane and twisted man could possibly think up. I was so relieved that I was finally on page 99. I was so glad because once I had finished this fucked up book, I would get rid of it forever. I was just finishing a section on some sort of marrow removal when I turned to page 100. So glad to think that after this page it would finally be over. Then I saw what was on the last page. A blank template with the words, Add your own don't section.